injured we're falling in the rankings i don't know what else to tell you we lost to the gilligan's island pelicans <gasps> sorry i don't know what to say well i actually have a lot to say we're gonna get into it all this video okay we're gonna talk about the lakers their injuries the western conference standings the playing tournament possibly the playoff rankings where we might fall down to okay and i'm gonna address some of you uh haters out there because i know you guys are rejoicing right now you guys think it's sweet, funny for me. So we're gonna talk to you guys about it. Before I get into that, just understand that I've been doing live streams all week, Monday through Thursday, 7.30 p.m. Central Time, streaming every day. You know, we do Laker Labs, reacting to Laker highlights, box score, whatever. I'm gonna play 2K, or there's days where I'll just react to whatever you guys send me and tell me to react to, literally anything. I love it, because I get to interact with y'all like in real time. And I feel bad for some of y'all that haven't, you know, come through. So I wanna show you a little snippet of how we get down. Cal vibes, play off P, way off P. Y'all already know he can't see me. Freestyle of the year. I might shed a tear that was way too nice for me to hear. For me to hear. I'm way too good at this freestyle stuff. I'm not a buff. That didn't make sense. I'm going to say it in the past tense. Okay, people are leaving the stream. <laughs> as well in the stream. <laughs> was not love. Okay, you want Clipper love? Okay, I'm sorry. Get out of our stadium. We don't want you here. You are the worst team of the year. It's a good time. So you might as well just stop by every day, 7.30 p.m. Central Time. Turn on the bell, click the bell so that you know when I'm streaming and I'll post it on Twitter and Instagram when I go live every day, so you know. But with that being said, let's go ahead and get right into it. LeBron is injured, AD is injured. We have fallen to fourth seed. Fallen from grace, if you will. We were former first seeds. Your team, favorite team, I don't know if they were ever there, wow. but we were, and we've fallen from grace now. Fourth seed, first game without LeBron and AD, both in the lineup together, and we take major L's, no interior defense. They destroyed us in the paint, and it was basically all bad. And this kind of play will continue to happen if we don't change up rotations, if we don't change up lineups. Some people are saying THT should start. KCP needs to step up, Kuzma needs to step up, but then there's trade rumors, Montrezl, Harezl kind of dropping points. But then KCP's unfollowing the Lakers on Instagram, so it's like, did a deal go down? I don't know. Oh. But it's a mess right now, okay? Now, there's a reason why I'm calm, there's a reason why I'm chill, but I wanna address the haters and the naysayers right now because you guys love to come to the live stream and, and ask me this question. And for me, it doesn't make sense. Help me make it make sense, okay? I thought common sense was free, but clearly common sense isn't common. Clearly, you were on a free trial to common sense and it, the free trial has expired. That's what I'm learning. Listen to this question. Ask me if this makes sense. They said, Caitlin, I thought you were excited about this roster and now look at what they're doing against these teams. They're about to start losing and da da da. They can't win without LeBron. I can't believe it. I can't book a book, believe it. I thought you were excited about this roster and the pickups. Me, an intellectual, I'm sitting here thinking like, me, I don't wanna embarrass them on stream, but I'm just like, so let's think about this. We were former first seeds with this same exact roster, except we actually had our two star in the said roster. We were first seed above your favorite team. Then we lose said stars, both of them. <laughs> and you're questioning my former praise of the roster. Guys, I was praising the roster as a whole, guys. Two of those stars are out, not a role player and a star. Two blockbuster stars are out of the lineup now. This is a whole different roster. I've never praised this roster in my life, okay? When we added people like Wesley Matthews, Marcus Gasol, you said, ah, oh, you praised this lineup and now they're trash. This lineup, this lineup that I praised had our two stars in it. They are gone 
Yes, they're playing worse. If the Clippers lost Kawhi and Paul George, would they play the same way? Is this what you... This is what y'all been thinking? No! I just don't get it. If Jamal Murray and Jokic are gone, you playing the same way. If Donovan Mitchell and Rudy Gobert are gone, you're playing the same way. So I praised my complete roster, and now when two the biggest parts of the roster are gone, they expect me to still, I don't get it. I don't even get the logic there. I'm just confused on where you thought you got me. <laughs> they thought it was a gotcha. You can never get me, sweetie. And guess what else you can't get? You can't get one of these. Oh. You can never get one of these. Oh. And I'm gonna hand you one of these hand you one of these the L you deserve it wow. you deserve it you deserve it that was the dumbest thing I've ever heard in my life I thought you were excited for the dumbest thing I've ever heard to say it politely respectfully didn't make sense now let's talk about the roster and the standings okay if you know the streams look at this transition he streamers are already used to this but all right, so look, Western Conference, we have fallen to fourth. And now here's the concern with the play-in tournament. If you fall out of the eighth seed, you may be put into the play-in tournament. If you don't know what the play-in tournament is, you basically got to fight for a playoff spot. If we fall far enough in these rankings, we were first. With the same roster that you guys are clowning, when we had our full roster, we were first. So the short memory, the short-term memory that y'all have right now, go, get, go to a doctor, get that diagnosed, but I'm seeing you. You have a short-term memory. We were just first. Then we were second. Now we dropped to fourth. All right, because of what's going on. And it's going to continue to drop because we have a very tough uh, schedule coming up. We have the 76ers, Nets, Clippers, Bucks, all in the span of like the next two weeks. And in that time frame, it's very unlikely that AD comes back. And LeBron's definitely not coming back in that time frame. We're losing a lot of games, okay? Problem with that is we're in the Western Conference. Now, side note, if you're an Eastern Conference girly, I don't even know why you shouldn't be looking me in the eye right now. I don't even think you legally should be able to look me in the eye. Let's look at this. Look at our fit. Look at our fifth and sixth seeds versus yours. 26 and 17. Fifth seed, 26 and 17. Fifth seed, 21 and 21. In our league, you'd be somewhere down here. You'd be 10th. In the Eastern Conference, you're fifth. Look at this games behind. Nets are one game behind the 76ers. Bucks, 1.5 games behind. The next highest is Hawks with eight games behind. Sweetie, Hawks, your fourth seed in the East, you'd be somewhere around ninth seed. In the West, and you're fourth in the East. I find that repulsive, but let me hold my tongue. Now, we're competing in the Western Conference, right? So it's very tough for us. We have an uphill battle to fight. We're most likely going to fall a couple of seeds, if not more, because look at this. Our conference is a lot more competitive, as you can see. We're not that far as far as games behind. We're pretty close, you know? So things can shake up at any moment and we can fall. We're going to fall, okay? If we're not winning the easy games on our um, schedule, like Orlando, Cleveland, I guess, supposed to be an easy game, but listen, they, they kill top seeds, remember? Remember how they do? So I'm not underestimating anybody right now. We have no right. But Cleveland, Orlando, Sacramento, teams like that, we have to beat. Those are must win teams. Cause we're going against 76ers, Bucks, top seeds. We're done. You know what I mean? We're definitely losing those without LeBron and AD. So we're going to fall out of this fourth seed, okay? If we fall low enough, we might be in this play-in tournament. And here's the problem with that. If we fall to the play-in tournament, we are going to have to, and we, we're gonna make the playoffs. I'll tell you that right now, okay? I know it's like a heavy thing and we're serious. Trust me, don't lose any sleep over that. But I'm the prophet, I'm telling you, I'm telling you. But we are gonna have to play the top seed. If you didn't know, if you're the bottom seed, you play the top seed in the, in the playoffs first. Now, we usually have the luxury, last year, oops, I believe we were first seed, oh, oops. So we had the luxury of playing the worst seed. So it was somewhat easier for us. Well, we beat everyone in five games basically, so. <laughs> Yeah, but that's why people like the first seed and teams like the first seed because you 
are able to go against easier teams first. So you kind of not rest, but coast and then it gradually gets harder. Whereas if you come in at the bottom of the playoffs and bottom of the standings, it's an uphill battle. From the jump, you have to beat teams like the Jazz, possibly the Clippers. The Suns have been resting Chris Paul and they're still winning, which is crazy. But we they've had to do a lot of load management and we'll talk about that in a second. But we're gonna have to face some of these top teams and that's gonna be tough for us. And that's tougher than going against some of the bottom seed. And I know what's funny, the flip side of the coin is the Jazz, the Clippers, the Suns, when they heard that LeBron got hurt, I know their blood was boiling, boiling. New Orleans, boiling. It was boiling because they realized that they have to play us first. They don't want that. Well, let's be honest. Do you? Does your favorite team, your team, you would want to play the Lakers in the first round? You would prefer that? Or you prefer an easier team? Let me know. I know they were mad. The coaching staff was like, because they know that if we fall down and they're up there, they got to play us first. Imagine being first seed and getting knocked out in the first round. That's insane. So on the flip side, I know that's the other side of it that they don't want to talk about, but I don't think they like that. I think they'd rather us up at first, second, and third seed because they don't have to face us until a little later. Western Conference final, something. Now you get us first, possibly. So good luck. <laughs> good luck. However, back to the somber side of our predicament, guys. Here's the thing. There are gonna be a lot of adjustment periods between now and the playoffs starting, which isn't a good thing, okay? You're supposed to roll into playoffs well-rested and running like a well-oiled machine. We are definitely not gonna be doing that because of LeBron and AD are hurt. So we have, we've just been thrown into a whole new situation. This is a whole new season right here, okay? We're playing with Kyle Kuzma as our star. All right, we got to figure out new rotations, new lineups. People are saying, ah, oh, THT should start, whatever, whatever. We have the trade deadline coming up. So this whole roster could be flipped upside down. Flipped it, flipped it in a reverse stick. So at this point we could, KCP could be gone. He tried to unfollow us on Instagram like we wouldn't see it. The live stream caught it and they told me immediately, KCP, you can't get through me. And I was petty. So if you get traded, sayonara. Will we miss you? I don't know. But the roster might get shaken up even with Montrez. Then we have the buyout market and we may get Andre Drummond, big man. <laughs> See you in LA. <laughs> I know that's right. <laughs> but if we get him, this is a whole new team. So that's an adjustment period in itself, right? Just trying to figure out how we're going to get through these next couple weeks without LeBron and AD. Then. AD most likely will return before LeBron. So that's a new adjustment period because we've played without AD and with LeBron only before, and we were rolling. Once again, we were first, second seed. Ah, how quick they forget. But we've never played with just AD with this lineup. So that's gonna be a whole another adjustment period. And then when LeBron comes back, if we have new players or if we have Andre Drummond, we're gonna have to figure that out. And by the time that is, it's gonna be right before playoffs sort of. So we're rolling into playoffs into an uphill battle possibly playing tournament or if not we're going to be playing just a top seed you know and it's going to be tough it's going to be tough because all these other teams are most likely just going to be rolling right in there smooth it's just for us it's just like so much we gotta shuffle around and, and da, 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 da. so that's a tough part of it and you guys might be like are you worried are you 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 seem a little worried you must not know me the Laker prophet. I already know what's gonna happen, okay? I already know what's gonna happen. If we get into the playoffs, we have won the NBA championship. Wow. And guess what? We're making it to the playoffs. Oh, they might fall out. No, they're not, okay? They're not. So I'm just saying it, mark my words. Ooh, I don't know what else I have to say. Now, if someone else gets injured in something, like something extraordinary like that happens, then say goodbye, we, we done. But if it's just like this, just how I laid it out just now, March 24th, I said it, we won the NBA championship. And I'm gonna have two of these. So the laughter and the jokes, just like y'all did last year. Remember when we were in the bubble, we we're like losing those first couple games. Y'all, how are we gonna win without shooting? Well, we did it. You, you tell me. So I'm not really worried. 
hate to say it. And I will say this, guys. A lot of y'all called me crazy. Y'all were saying, ooh, excuses, excuses. The Lakers had six weeks off. Six weeks off after winning an NBA championship and had to rush back into action. NBA players are saying that it's increasing fatigue, making you more injury prone. Coaches, even the Spurs, was like, we got to rest these players because they gave them a kind of a crazy schedule. It was like a stretch where they had like so many games in the span of like two weeks. It was kind of insane. And the coach was like, we got to do it. I understand this is low, it's like against the rules, but we have to because people are going to get injured this way. And you, from your couch at home, told me I'm over-exaggerating. No, that's not a factor because the schedule was easier. I said, you're playing NBA games. You're running the length of the floor. It's going to take a toll on the body. Who was right? Because LeBron's hurt. AD's hurt. Stephen Curry's hurt. LaMelo's hurt. Joel Embiid is hurt. KD is hurt. And more. So, like, who, who was really right, guys? The NBA players themselves are saying this, but I'm supposed to believe you because why? See what I'm saying? Hey, Prophet always knows. I said this opening night, Clippers. With that being said, I'm out of here. I'm tired of being right, so I have to get out. But um, just know that I'm doing the stream. I'm streaming tonight, actually, so just pop through to the stream. 7.30, pop through to the stream. 7.30 Central Time, just chop it up with Katie. And yeah, um, thank y'all so much for watching. Comment down below what you guys think, though, truthfully. I know you guys will. We'll have a great debate down in the comments, okay? Follow me on my social medias. Uh, make sure you subscribe to join the Splash Squad. Share this video with someone you think may need to see it, all right? And uh, I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.